India's tally of the coronavirus disease COVID-19 stood at 59,662 after 3,320 new cases and 95 deaths were reported in the last 24 hours. According to media reports, the central government has changed its policy on discharge of COVID-19 patients from care facilities and only severe cases will now be tested before they are discharged. The new rules come into effect as India braces for a jump in cases with mathematical modelling showing the peak of infections may come in June-July. The World Health Organization WHO plans to launch an app this month to enable people in under-resourced countries to assess whether they may have the novel coronavirus and is considering a Bluetooth-based contact tracing features too, as per a media report. The app will ask people about their symptoms and other guidance on whether they may have COVID-19, the potentially. Other information such as how to get tested will be personalized according to the user's country. In Fall West, police recovered a huge cache of arms and ammunition from a fish farm located at Sekmai Jin Khoidumpat in Thaubal district yesterday. They recovered one AK rifle, 56, one carbine machine gun with magazine, 1.303 modified rifle, one barrel rifle and two mortar shells. The fish farm belongs to Mayang Langbong Kumar alias Ningti of Kakching Ningtho Pareng, a cadre belonging to the band Pripak Pro, a report said today. Four Naxals including two women and a police official were killed in an exchange of fire in Rajnangao, district of Chhattisgarh, police said today. The incident took place last night at Padhauni village under Manpur Police Station limits when a team of security forces was out on a counter-insurgency operation. The United States recorded 1,635 coronavirus deaths in the past 24 hours, bringing the total to 77,000. 178 according to the latest real-time tally. The country hardest hit by the pandemic in terms of number of fatalities has now confirmed a total of 1,283,829 cases according to media reports. In an effort to extend solidarity in times of COVID-19 pandemic, Hongman, Hongbal village under Cycle Assembly constituency today donated relief materials including face masks to Sanak Konung, the royal palace in Imphal, which will be distributed to the public. A team of Moray police detained several people for defying COVID-19 lockdown and curfew rules at Moray Bazaar under Technopol district today. The public have been asked to wear face masks and maintain social distancing norm while coming out to buy essential items. The Northeast Frontier Railway has identified 20 stations across the zone for placement of COVID-19 care centers. According to media reports, the Ministry of Railways has converted 5,231 coaches into COVID care centers. These coaches can be used in areas where the state needs to augment capacities for isolation of both suspected and confirmed COVID-19 cases. The National Investigation Agency NIA has summoned RTI activist and Swaraj Asom convener Bhavan Handik for questioning in connection with a case registered against Anti-Citizenship Amendment Act CAA protest. According to a media report, the NIA has summoned Handik under Unlawful Activities Prevention Act and he has been asked to appear before the investigating officer of the central agency today at its office in Sonapur on the outskirts of Guwahati.